Well, hey, if you don't want to go to the movie theaters this weekend, you can stay at home and snuggle up with the perfect holiday film. Jesse Metcalf is pulling at our heartstrings in JC Family's first ever original movie for Valentine's Day, Harmony from the Heart. And Jesse joins us now to tell us all about it. Jesse, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. You are so wonderful in this new movie, Harmony from the Heart, the first Valentine's Day original film by GAC Family. Tell us about your character, Dr. Blake Williams. He's kind of a, a rough around the edges, sort of a arrogant, kind of gruff heart surgeon uh, who's had uh, some loss in his past and has caused him to really shut down uh, emotionally. And uh, his uh, grandfather has a stroke and loses his ability to speak. Uh, so Jessica Lowndes' character uh, is given the task of getting him to speak by Valentine's Day. She's a music therapist. And, uh, you know, as a surgeon, I'm very skeptical of uh, music therapy. So, uh, you know, it, during the process of rehabilitating my grandfather, we fall in love. The chemistry you and Jessica have on screen is some of the best I've seen in a movie like this. You guys are super fun to watch. It was like magic on television. What was it about this role, Jesse, that you were like, you know what, let me get on board? Well, I, I thought the script was interesting. I, you know, I hadn't heard that storyline yet uh, within this genre. And as you know, I've done a lot of movies in this genre, you know, Hallmark, now GAC. Um, and uh, the opportunity to work with Jessica, I thought it was pretty cool that she wrote the script. She was also a producer and she wrote original music uh, for the movie. You know, and I, I wrote and performed the original music uh, on the previous series that I was on, Chesapeake Shores. So I thought there was kind of a kinship there and I thought it could make for some good chemistry, like you said. Well, it did make for some good chemistry, so much so that you both have, and I don't, no spoilers, but there is a scene where you two engage in a duet. And one, the song was incredible too. Jesse, I didn't know you had vocals like that, man. You oh, get out of here. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I, I was hoping you would both break out in Endless Love from Lionel and Diana, but the song we got was great. <laughs> Music therapy is something that runs through this movie. Why was it important to feature that in the script and in this film? Well, that was uh, Jessica Lowndes' vision, but uh, I know that we both lost people that we love and care about. You know, and this movie, I think at its core is about is about loss and grief and, and what that does to a person and how sometimes it takes a special situation or a special person to open their heart again. Jesse, I have to welcome you to South Florida. You are now, you know, part of the family. What brought you here and how are you loving it? I'm totally loving South Florida. Um, what brought me here? You know, I like to follow real estate trends, you know, and I really felt like the LA real estate market was kind of hitting a bubble. Um, I sort of, loosely listed my home in Los Angeles. The first person that, that came to look at it bought it for a full price. So I kind of got an offer I couldn't refuse. And 23 years in Los Angeles, I, I felt like it was a uh, time for a change, you know? And I, everybody knows it's it's popping down here in, uh, in South Florida. It's always <laughs> popping here in South Florida. Have you had a croqueta or, or a cafecito yet? All of the above. All yeah. of the above. Wow. Yeah. Hey, man, you, I've been ah. here a year and I just had my first croqueta after a year. So you're doing good, Jesse. Jesse Metcalf, living legend. Thank you for your time on Inside South Florida and welcome and welcome to SoFlo. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.